and welcome back to another Cozy Tarot Sunday reading. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today's Cozy Tarot Sunday reading is for June 20th to the 26th. As always, for the self-care portion of the reading, I'll be reading from the Tarot for Self-Care by Minerva Siegel. I'll be using the uh, Modern Witch Tarot deck by Lisa Sterl and published by Liminal Eleven. And if you are new, this is the reading that I do. So it is the week ahead reading with the focus for the week. What's needed to embrace the focus, what's needed to let go of, and of course, the self-care for the week because self-care is very important. So let's get to shoveling to see what this week has in store for us all. Okay, that should be good. Okay, we have the King of Cups, Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. So for the first position of what to focus on this week, we have the King of Cups. Now, the focus for this week is all about having a balance between, you know, the head and the heart. So having a strong relationship between understanding and feelings, thought and emotions. And mainly this is because the King of Cups is all about having emotional um, composure and thinking through those emotions, especially before acting on them. So maybe you'll have a better balance if you take time in understanding your feelings this week and where they are coming from. So that's what I'm getting from the King of Cups. In the second position of what to embrace, we have the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is about learning from your emotions. So when you have a better understanding of your emotions, you can learn lessons from them that, you know, allow to have better balance between head and heart with that King of Cups. But it also allows you to let go of things that no longer serve you, which is really what the Six of Swords is about. See with the person in the boat, this person rowing, they're going away from something. So it's really about letting go of things that no longer serve you. And, you know, embracing, an, embracing rather, uh, a new journey for yourself. So that's what these two cards are saying together. Then in the third position of what to let go, we have the Eight of Swords. So you want to let go of self-imposed restrictions. You know, the Eight of Swords is all about feeling trapped by your own making. And it's also about... Um, getting out of it through, you know, removing that blindfold and removing those restrictions, right? That's really what we're seeing here, that this is your own making. So to be able to do that, you have to remove the blindfold. You have to remove the restrictions. So you want to do that by taking responsibility for any imbalance that you have between your head and heart. You want to let go of what no longer serves you. And you want to move forward with your life lessons. That's really what these three cards are saying together. In the last position of self-care for the week, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So the self-care activities are in terms of mind, body, and spirit. As always, I'll be reading from the Tarot for Self-Care by Minerva Siegel. Take what resonates with you when it comes to the self-care activities. If these don't resonate, just make sure that you're doing some kind of self-care for yourself, as self-care is very important. 
So in terms of mind, rewatch a film featuring a leading actor who inspires you. Find your favorite fictional queen of pentacles. In terms of body, quality sleep is so important to creating balance and stability. To catch those Z's, try a silk sleeping mask. In terms of spirit, bring stability into your home by getting your feng shui on. Uh, eliminate household clutter, then thoughtfully add a few potted plants to your space for a boost or refreshing energy. Obviously, it doesn't have to be potted plants. You can put really anything to refresh your space. Uh, or it could be fake plants if you don't do, you know, real, you know, whatever. Do whatever you'd like. It's your home, obviously. Those were just some ideas. So those were the self-care activities. That was the Cozy Tarot Sunday reading for June 20th to the 26th. Take what resonates with you as always. Not every reading will resonate. Let me know in the comments below what resonated, what didn't. Always love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. Thanks so much and have a great day.